Yo, yo, what's going on? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game. What's good? So, in this video, I want to talk about how women don't really like men who are a challenge. Okay? They don't. So, a lot of guys think, you know, they watch a lot of pickup artist videos, videos about game and all this other stuff. They think that, you know, if you're a challenge, that's going to make the woman want you more. Right? Now, this is the thing. Let, let's, let's break, I'm going to break this down, right? Now, first of all, again, I'm going to talk about the three types of women you're going to run into. You know, I talk about this all the time. The first type of woman is a woman who likes you. She's extremely into you. The second type is a woman who's sort of somewhat into you. She's sort of like in the middle. She's sort of neutral. She's like, yeah, you're cool, but whatever. I'm not like all the way into you. And then you have the third type of woman who just doesn't like you at all, right? So... Any woman you meet is going to fall into, you know, one of these categories. You feel what I'm saying? So what happens is this. If you meet a chick who doesn't like you, which is like the third type of girl, there's really nothing you can do. Like, it doesn't matter if you're trying to be a challenge or not. She's not feeling you. So if you approach some chick at a bar, club, in the street, whatever it is, and you're trying to talk to her, but she's not feeling you, she just don't like you for whatever reason, there's nothing you can do. It's done. It doesn't matter if you're trying to be a challenge or not. She's not going to care. Now, this is what you have to understand. Is that women like men who they see value in. So, a chick who doesn't like you doesn't see value in you. So, even if you're trying to be a challenge, it's not going to, it's not going to matter because she doesn't see value in you. You see what I'm saying? So, it's just like whatever. You understand what I mean? But what happens is... is the second type of chick, which is the chick in the middle, the chick who's somewhat into you, that's the only girl, if any girl, that you could sort of be a challenge and it could work in your favor, right? Because what happens is if a girl is like sort of into you, she's not all the way into you like that. She's not like, oh my God, this guy is awesome, but she's not necessarily saying you you suck. You're, you're sort of in the middle. You know, you could talk to this girl, interact with this girl, um, you know, make, you know, make shit happen with her where she can warm up to you to where she starts to like you more and more. So now once that chick likes you more and more, right? If you become a challenge in that situation, right? That girl could end up, you know, wanting you more because of you being a challenge. Cause now you sort of got her interested. You got her hooked. And now since she sees that value in you, you understand what I'm saying to that extent, then you being a challenge could work in that situation because it's just going to sort of in keep increasing her, you know, interest in you because you already got her sort of like hooked on. Now she's starting to like you. And now let's say you're falling back a little bit and then she's going to be like, oh, what's going on? And, you know, having that thought process because it's that uncertainty there. You understand? Because a lot of times what happens is, is that women will gain interest in you because of uncertainty. But again, she still has to see some sort of value in you for that uncertainty to matter. You see what I'm saying? Again, if a chick, uh, you know, doesn't like you, she's not even thinking about you. So there's no uncertainty there because there's nothing for her to be certain about because she don't give a fuck. Right. But if you're that, you know, that if she's that chick in the middle, you know, the chick that's sort of like you. Right. This is the type of chick. Who. Could basically, you know, if you were trying to quote unquote challenge her or, or be a challenge i guess i should say that could work a little bit in your favor right but that's basically the only type of chick that is gonna that it's gonna you know work for you understand what i'm saying and when we talk about a girl who actually likes you right because this is this is the problem with a lot of guys a lot of guys will try to be a challenge to a chick who's already feeling them and then you fuck it up because and this is this this comes with awareness. You have to be very aware of how a chick sees you and how she's feeling you. Because it's gonna sort of tell you which type of chick you're dealing with. Are you dealing with a chick who's extremely into you, the chick that's really feeling you, or are you dealing with a chick who's sort of like, you know, on the fence, right? But if you're dealing with a chick who's really feeling you, you do not want to be a challenge. I'm gonna say that again. If you are dealing with a chick who is really feeling you, you do not want to be a challenge for her. All right? Now, the reason for this is, 
is that the chick already likes you. You understand what I'm saying? She's sure that she likes you. So you don't need to be a challenge to raise her interest because she's already interested. You see what I'm saying? Now, the funny part is, is that when a girl's really interested in you and then you start playing these little games and you're trying to be a challenge, what happens is it'll usually backfire on you because what's going to happen is she's going to view you as unattainable. So what does that mean? When a woman views you as unattainable, that means that she's going to not try to get with you or anything because she feels that she can't get you. She feels that you're out of her league. You're out of her range of, you know, she can't grasp you. So what happens is you sitting there, she's feeling you. You start acting like a challenge. She's going to think you're not really feeling her. And she's going to think that she can't get you. And therefore, she's going to give up. Or what will happen is not necessarily where she'll even give up. But more so, even if, let's say, for example, you playing around, you playing all these games with her or whatever. And then you try to make something happen. She won't make things happen with you because she feels that at some point you're going to not want to be with her. So she just declines it from the jump because you're thinking, hey, I'm telling this girl I want to make something happen. But by that point, you've been being so challenging that she sees you as unattainable. And then because she sees you as unattainable. Then what happens is, is that she just sort of falls back. She she basically auto rejects you. She automatically rejects you. Just like I was saying, I just said this in the last uh, video I did where I was talking about how. When you see that really hot girl that you're scared to talk to, you just make up some shit in your mind talking about, oh, she looks like a bitch. She looks like she has a boyfriend. So you basically automatically reject her because you think you can't get her. Women do the same thing. So when a woman's really feeling you, but you're playing the games and you're trying to be a challenge, she's going to think you're unattainable and therefore she's not going to want to fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? So the thing is, you have to be aware of how a chick views you you understand and see the thing is is that the best course of action really is to not try to be a challenge at all and see this is a different uh thing or i say or i should say strategy or whatever when it comes to the game is you have guys who try to do things they Sort of like, you know, uh, they put on a, a, a sort of act or show to try to be perceived as a high value guy, right? So instead of doing that, what I usually, uh, you know, say is better is to just actually be that guy. So what happens is, let's say you're, you're talking to a girl who is somewhat into you. She's that middle girl, you know what I'm saying? And you go and approach her, you're talking to her, whatever. Because you're such an awesome guy, you know how to talk to a chick, you know how to spit game, you're you're confident in all this other stuff, right? She's going to realize like, oh damn, this guy is actually interesting. And then she's going to probably automatically see you as a challenge because of you being that high value guy in the first place. Meaning that she like already... Um, you know, like she views you as a challenge just off the jump because she sees you as the type of guy who's high value, the type of guy that all these other women want, the type of guy that has a lot of shit going for him, the type of guy who's the prize. So she already sees you as that challenge just by you existing there. You feel what I'm saying? You don't necessarily have to do anything. You see what I mean? You don't have to do anything. So what happens is that if you cultivate that type of energy that sort of situation is going to happen on its own versus you trying to create situations for where you're a challenge for her to try to pique her interest if you're that type of guy who's sort of in the middle you understand what i'm saying so you know i just want you guys to to understand this i don't want you wasting time trying to you know be a challenge to some chick because of, again if she already likes you she already likes you. So you don't have to do anything to try to get her to like you because she fucking likes you. If she's if she doesn't like you at all, there's nothing you can do because she doesn't like you. Period. And there's nothing you can do about that. Now, if she's the girl who's sort of in the middle, 
right? What that happened is you can interact with her in a way to get her interested in you more. But if you're already that high value type of dude, you don't really need to do much but interact with her and she'll sort of basically fill that energy at the end of the day. You see what I mean? So don't worry about trying to be a challenge to a chick, trying to do all this. Worry about being awesome. Worry about you being the best you can be because all of that shit gonna fall into place when you start interacting with chicks in the first place. You feel what I'm saying? Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is gonna teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You'll also learn the only time you should call or text a woman. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.